What about our actual diet and the foods that we eat and whether that influences our risk of breast cancer? So there's no single food that we, we think either causes or can prevent breast cancer by itself. But there are certain recommendations for a healthy diet. First of all, um, having plenty, well, a healthy diet is the one that really helps you to maintain a healthy weight um, because, you know, weight gain is, is, is probably one of the strongest factors. So a healthy diet is one that helps you to maintain a healthy weight or attain a healthy weight. And if you do want to lose weight, you might be interested in our two day diet, our intermittent diet and all the information's on the, on the Prevent website. But if, um, aside from how many calories is, is in our diet um, and when you have those calories, it's important to think about the types of food we eat. So we certainly advocate a diet that has plenty of fruit and vegetables um, and, and a variety of them. Um, it contains um, plenty of fibre and whole grains because we know that um, Fibre, again, can actually help reduce levels of oestrogen, and oestrogen is, is a driver for a lot of breast cancer. And we, we advocate um, reducing the amount of saturated animal fat in the diet, particularly from red meat. You don't have to be a vegetarian, uh, and including some, some meat in the diet is absolutely fine, but um, there, is, you know, there is some evidence that if you have meat every day, if you have a, a, a meaty meal every day, then those women seem to be at a sort of 10% higher risk of breast cancer. So if you want to have meat, have it occasionally. Fish, fish is good. Um, and, and dairy is fine, low fat dairy is absolutely fine. So it's thinking about the overall diet. And if you've got your overall diet right, you don't need supplements. We don't advocate uh, supplements, except that most of us would probably benefit from having vitamin D during the winter months.